And at the end of the third round, the flesh terrors start pressing their will against Rothgar's hordes. Tactical squad Archival moves in with the death company and slaughter the rest of the mutants, leaving none alive before pressing forward. The Death Company massacres through moving forward, rampaging across the battlefield with the sisters in tow behind the Vanguard Veteran Squad jumped forward to support the assault squad but as the assault squad moved forward, Zorik's berserker squad moved in and pressed the assault. Bodies were ripped apart as both the berserkers and the assault squads went after each other. And then the champion, Zorik, challenges Moloch, the sergeant, and they both kill each other during the duel. The Berserkers rush in, killing three more assault Marines. But then the chaplain moved in and took out Chaplain Crime, took out three Berserkers before the Berserkers could mow through their unit. That combat was a draw. The Traitor Guard fired all that they could to try and support the Berserker squad, but it wasn't enough. Librarian Azurius of the First Company and Singulary Priest Idic deep struck in next to the warp portal. They fired and they destroyed, destroyed the Defiler. The Land Raider Crusader in the back fired all it had in on the Obliterator, ripping the Obliterator apart. And then things turned really bad. Rothgar's champion, Raquel, challenged Chaplain Cairo. They both killed each other in the vicious assault but the Death Company was overwhelmed by the sheer force of the Berserkers as the Berserkers ripped through the Death Company, leaving only three alive at the end of the combat. The snipers tried to provide support, but it was to no avail. And just then, Conanus Talia looked up over at the altar. As the Chaos Lord Rothgar drove the Axe of Blind Fury into the Inquisitor after we rolled a one, sacrificing the Inquisitor before the unholy warp portal, using the power of the Lantern. And the flesh terror stood in awe as the Inquisitor's body was ripped apart. And then she rose again, a demon herald. You could hear Talia scream, no, at the top of her lungs, but it was too late. And with Talia's ascension came the worst part. Stand by. Turn four coming. And at the beginning of turn four, we're looking across the battlefield as the loyalist forces move forward, clearing the battlefield of the enemies, clearly winning until realizing that this entire situation was a setup since the very beginning. Rothgar knew that his only advantage over the loyalists 
was to lure them into his ambush. And with his berserkers, a small war band, not even of his own company, holding off the loyalists just long enough for the sacrifice to take place and him to activate the lantern, now arrives Rothgar the Conqueror's demonic horde and his chosen sons of the Conqueror on Juggernauts now arriving as the Demon Herald, the new Demon Herald, Vespa, now at the foot of the, of the great Lord Rothgar. Turn four, starting now. And so we're back at the end of turn four. Tactical Squire Archival here moved up. Conanus Talia and her um, sisters, her holy sisters all moved up with the death company. The assault squad here made short work of the berserkers, leaving only two berserkers remaining with berserker bodies just being strolled all over the place. The um, assault squad, Moloch, here with the um, with Chaplain Kron and the singularity priest Anton here uh, having their way with the berserkers. The Vanguard Veteran Squad dropped in, trying to provide support for Terminator Squad Krill. But unfortunately for Krill, the Blood Letters moved in. Krill made short work of the Blood Letter unit, but it was to no avail as Rothgar's chosen horde moved in and killed the entire Terminator squad, but not before the first company librarian Azurius using his force weapon zaps down one of the chosen exalted champions in Rothgar's horde, Zamiel. And here in a challenge, Sanguinary Priest Edic in a challenge with the exalted champion and so far Sanguinary Priest Idic is winning as the four exalted champions look on at the challenge more blood letters are moving in entire fury squad was wiped out by Great shooting from the Loyalists. The Chaos Lord Rothgar still protecting the Lantern, unwilling to move from it as he's using the power of the Lantern to spread the corruption and to summon more demons. The Demon Herald, Vespa, newly ascended, is moving her forces forward. The Berserkers finished off the Death Company on this side of the battlefield. The Scouts fought valiantly, killing off three, blood, three Berserkers, leaving only one alive as the Scout Champion, the Scout Sergeant, moves up. And Gabriel Seth and his Storm Raven moving in with the support of the Sisters. The Loyalist forces still holding their ground and pushing through. Turn number five coming up. And Chaos Lord Rothgar standing on top of the great warp portal looks across the battlefield as his hordes get ramshackled by the loyalists. The advance of the flesh terrors and the sisters have all but destroyed all of Rothgar's forces. And in the end, the chapter master, Gabriel Seth, 
and his assault terminators destroy Vespa's unit. And now the demon herald Vespa stands before the chapter master. As the chapter master Gabriel Seth gives her her final rites before the duel begins. But the demon herald lunges at the chapter master. But the lunge was for naught. The chapter master parried the demon herald Vespa's lunge, driving his eviscerator into her chest and with one final blow, decapitating demon, the demon herald with a vicious look on his face as the chapter master turned and looked up only to see the Grey Knight's captain, Dahl, and his honor guard deep strike onto the battlefield. The captain witnesses the chapter master's vicious destruction of the demon herald, Vespa. And that is the end. Mission number six. The victory goes to the loyalists. As Captain Dahl looks up to the warp portal. And he sees the lantern. And the Lord Rothgar. And Rothgar turns to Dahl and says with a snarl and a laugh on his face in his on his face captain this is only the beginning i have more surprises for you and with that captain Dahl looked in silence as the chaos forces re-enter the portal. Flashes of red and orange light descended on the battlefield. But on this day, the loyalists had taken more territory and had put a big hole in Rothgar's plans. The chapter master had his vengeance on the Inquisitor on this day. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the campaign. Mission 7 and the rest of the story coming up in a few days.